Yo, how's everybody doing today? How's everybody doing today? Everyone doing okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Well, today will be my last day on Twitch. Uh, if anyone's in here already, um, thank you for the support. Tic Tac. Hello, my friend. How you doing? <clears throat> so I'm going to be switching over to YouTube exclusively. I like Twitch and everything, but it's fucking trash for a lot of things. So I do everything. On my, all my videos are on YouTube anyway. So I'm just going to switch over, right? Like I haven't seen any movement for, uh, other than like through reality mode for months, right? So Tic Tac, thank you. Love you. But I'm going to, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to play today. I'm just kind of fucking winging it. So I haven't streamed it a couple months. So or a couple weeks, sorry. Uh, doing good. Last night went to made me download Warzone 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be hitting it tonight. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been playing Warzone 2 actually. Um, it's good. Yeah, I actually got a couple games on the Steam sale, the fall sale, or whatever you want to call it. Oh shit! My fucking OneDrive's on. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a sec. <laughs> How the fuck did that happen? That's so weird. I I don't know. Whatever. Um. Uh, it's not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you move into YouTube. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like I like a lot of what Twitch has to say. I'm just gonna make your uh, writing a little bit. There, is that better? I'm just going to test it out. Yeah, I'm going to move to YouTube, bud. Sorry. Oh, my fucking head's in the way. There we go. No, it's not so stretched out. Sorry. Sorry, Tic Tac. Like I said, I've been just tweaking with shit all the time, so. Um. Yeah, I mean, I upload all my videos to YouTube. That takes time and bandwidth for other people to use the internet, so I've just been uh, cutting out the middleman, right? It's, it's just easier for me. Um. I'm going to pop a video on here. I don't know if the, if this is clickbait or not. Fuck, but whatever. A sec here. Finally get every single one of them. Now, I'm going to be honest, okay? I killed eight. I, I only found seven bodies. <laughs> so there could be one of them down. I waited 20 minutes for that bitch to come back out. Now, I did get uh, I did get a lot of the poison on them, and, and usually it makes it to where they can't breathe, and so they just fucking die of suffocation. Uh, you know, somewhere in a corner. <laughs> happens, but uh, we're not sure. I'm gonna go down. I, I gotta, I gotta check one more time, make sure that uh, there's not any more of them downstairs. I'll be right back. What the I fuck? Poison, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not real, is it? <laughs> what the actual fuck was that, man? <laughs> All right, let's try this one out here. <laughs> Ray, what the fuck? Yeah, we're be taking a look at Callisto Protocol. If you don't know what Callisto Protocol is, it is a video game that was made in Unreal Engine 4.27. So as you all Can know, you hear that? I'm pretty excited about it. I don't really get excited too much 
about with video games nowadays, but this I am very excited about. So what we're going to be taking a look at today is some behind the scenes as far as lighting goes in Callisto Protocol. Yes, yes, Honestly, Brett, off to YouTube. To actually play the game just to really study how the lighting is done and how the environment creation is done. Because honestly, this game looks incredible even in a virtual production standpoint if you're trying to create a movie similar to this kind of environment. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and check this out. It lights up the path and, and still keeps the top dark, so there's a, a little claustrophobia from the light in there, so I think that's a good call. Make sure you tell Will to beef up the cat. Where the fuck did that could come from? The dodges. Yeah. The reflex is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I did. It's been like three or four in a row there. Here in our dailies room, uh, where we go through the, the game, whether it's design or whatever, but today we're going to focus on lighting. We have to make sure that the lighting and the audio set the tone in the mood. That, that Great. It's so critical for us to make sure that we, we nuance this. And that's kind of what that we're doing now is making job. sure that the Sounds lighting really cool. is in the right Great. place for the mood. All due respect to everything else in the game. I can't actually wait for this game. Audio, Wish I had 80 bucks for it. So lighting is our first glimpse at how tense the game is. How scary is it? We use Unreal as a, as a basis. It has fantastic foundation. It already has so much built into it that the true realism is a good jumping off point for us. We are Wait, what? Okay, so the rendered, vi the rendered picture is on the left and in the game, and the right is the real photo. No. That looks like the exact same fucking photo, man. We're super fortunate in that we have an incredible rendering team that we've got who are some of the greatest. Okay, I can see it in that picture. The face looks phenomenal. Close collaborative uh, partnership with them on the art side and the rendering side. What we did was took a look at the state of the art with, with the Unreal Engine, and then we took real wireframes. And what we tried to do was measure objectively the difference between the state of the art and what reality was. Our art director, Demetrius, just gets it. In his own dead space. Our lighting director, our yeah, Tic Tac. Yeah, it's crazy, eh? We work on dead space. We I, I can't wait for all these new games come out on Unreal Engine 5 here. Actually, we did a good test of that. We went actually out with the US lighting director. Out, and, uh, and <laughs> the director actually took a photogrammetry tree and we captured the Jeez. Uh, picture. And I actually uh, even. Oh, this is made on Unreal Engine 4. Right the lighting, taking the light meters, taking and melting the values, come back to your studio to create it in the game in the Unreal Engine to make sure what we actually trying to achieve as a visual goal. Those look like really comfy chairs, man. Look at that shit, man. I bet you they're heated. I bet you the cup holder's cooling. Nice. Is achievable by the scientific approach we do. In that sense, working with the rendering team in Spain. Wow. Sure that can make sure that they can provide us the tools and the rendering feature we need to be able to create the realism that we actually uh, want to focus on. Because Hats it's off, sci mate. and because it's horror, it's all created from your imagination. We have to make sure that we use textures and lighting and sounds that are... It's awesome. It's called The Volume, and it's a 360 platform and video walls. Nice. You learn something new every day, man. I don't know too much about this kind of stuff. I'm just starting to learn. It's actually really neat. Like, I just love how... Uh, some game studios put so much effort into making everything so realistic. I mean, what else can you ask for, right? Like, truly, the lighting will set the tone and the audio. Relatable. If it's completely foreign, you might not be as scared. You know, you got to be, oh, I'm, I'm, I get that. You know, that's kind of scary. Or that lighting scheme is always scary in some movies or games like that. So here and there, you got to make sure it's believable and relatable. Well, you always want to try to immerse the player, so that's a yes. part of immersing the player. So in the garage, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but we've talked a lot about the original Alien and that uh, warehouse area with the chains hanging down. It was all blue. The Mandalorian. And that was nice. relatable because Love of the it. chains, right? right? Just because of the chains. It hey, it's Kamiko. <laughs> uh, your own influence in Dead Space 1. I mean, like, you know, right. we had a lot yep. of Browns in there. 
took cues from that as well as like you're saying alien i can't blood. believe this is their job the this is so cool right it comes from carpenters the thing we watch a lot of it's crazy horror movies yeah the new theater the roto palette that we actually were looking into as well yeah there's a lot of event yeah. horizon in some of these mm -hmm. and uh pendulum we found a boatload of sci-fi horror because they're just so all right so we just had an ad there but it's so interesting to me to hear that because they're referencing real movies to make their game and now here we are watching this because i'm going to be referencing their game plus the movies that they're talking about to learn unreal engine lighting that's just pretty cool because it's yeah. like passing the torch down uh in terms of movies not a heck of a lot of games but here yeah that was pretty cool when you do light up the uh the snowcat can we keep it in pool colors i wouldn't yeah. i wouldn't mess with the brown that blue either. This has a really good look. If I can get the music a little more tense walking up, I think it'd be okay. Almost felt like it was too bright. It's too bright? Uh, yeah. I, I, you know, I don't want to mess with it. You mean walking up to it? Mm -hmm. I think walking up. Let, let's just try, try with the, with the uh, music first, and then we may have to adjust the lighting. This you know, is somebody's job? Add, like, yeah, dude. Like, it's intense, it's man. So cool. I'd love that job. Oh, the whole thing? Yeah. What do you think the sound would be like you know let's we'll try sound okay. yes we'll try okay. sound first on top of that i think the sound with the light matched it really well i don't think the timing was off on that it's a scare that will get a few people it i may ask him to turn it up even more it's a 10. it should be a 10 the yeah yeah i know he doesn't always like to go there but uh when we do we scare people Right, this is good. This is a good scene. I almost think that light there, even though it's important to go there, it may be too bright. It may be taken away from the outside scene, and it may be taken I agree. away from yeah, me the, too, actually. the lightning. Let the music get in there, and then we'll take a... See what I mean? It's Maybe like, dim the light when the lightning flickers to you, right? It may be just... It's almost twice too bright. A little bit, you want a softer, maybe a... I, I think so. I mean, you, you both agree? Yeah. I agree. Kind of polish that. It's nice. It does lead your eyes straight to uh, right. To the con other control room or whatever. There, it's a nice alignment. Yeah. Uh, you know, the way you talk about the misleading light, it's misleading to kind of get the get the uh, uh, kind of yeah, see like you know. That's so you want to wait till we put the music in, tense it up, and then. Yeah, it's definitely. See. I mean, this is like oh yeah, it's definitely. I mean, well, you're going to go too, there, too but bright. it's one of the yeah. brightest things in this. I I agree with you on the. Uh, I think if you tone it down a little bit. Because then it's kind of more balanced with what you're looking at in the background. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's similar to go there. I mean, there's a dip, that hue is going to be different than what it's right. Going to be it, it is much different than the rest. All right, we'll have the scene drop in the music leading up. We'll just pull it down about 30, 40 percent. Okay. That's a good call. Everybody knows that my number one word is quality. What I ask of everybody is whatever you're working with. If it's just the bark of a tree. If it's just, you know, a sheet, just give me your best work. Talk about your art Bible for a sec. Oh, my yeah. God. It was a great benefit to come on really early on in this project. Having a really strong vision from Glenn and understanding what uh, we wanted to go for, that allowed us to spend a lot of time doing a lot of research and getting references of modern-day applications, say, of prisons or other things. We wanted to have that authenticity to make the game relatable. Like, the game's supposed to be 300 years in the future and immersion was so important to us especially in the horror game that we wanted to what do you guys think you're gonna get this game or you want to play it all that began with the thesis i want to fucking play it for touchstones uh just in modern life and being able to extrapolate that into the future so when the player was playing the game they would instantly feel grounded and they would uh understand their surroundings that's really important because we would isolate the player with darkness so and foreign foreign technology, foreign aliens, so we wanted them always to uh, have a point of reference. But you were, you guys did so much research that uh, for a while there, it seemed like every day you would send me like a thousand photos and you were like, this is the dark, this is the, this is the rim lighting, this is this, this, and then you guys put together an art Bible that was fantastic, right? Look at this, eh?
it took us it took a long time and that yeah i'd love to play it too man how we were able to keep it comes out tomorrow right looking like it's just one artist did the whole game we had so many different look sets uh yeah. so yeah. many different environments which helps because you don't uh you want the players i think it's like, tomorrow like they've gone through a journey yeah. the game yeah. and so when fuck that, i love it when people that because with each of those different build video games put so much love into it man that like look at the guy in the like look at check out this guy look how intense he is man like he's just right into it man love it sets you have to do the amount of research that goes along with it so like going to the same we were wow. seeing, um, pictures all the time Ew. and uh, <laughs> finally i said okay they're, they're, all, they're all good just put them in yeah. you know the other thing that we did that we hadn't done was we took it into concept art as well like we have thousands of pieces of <laughs> right tic tac times now where we're like i need one my computer could probably do it because lighting was so specific in some areas to get the scare or the monster yeah. or whatever Ooh. that we spent that extra time on concept art and right. that really helped but that's wow. really going the extra mile yeah uh, to get that scare right <laughs> <laughs> research. scared me man we're like no nah, throw that one out this oh that one's right it all paid off you can see it in the game right now and uh just excited to uh have uh people play it mm -hmm. so getting back to what glenn said it's about the team i think um yeah i wonder what the requirements are actually i'll check it out certainly the most talented team i've ever worked with and wow it makes it feel easy now we only got a minute left i'll check it out oh not even making matches what he's pulling out absolutely uh, good, good job guys thank okay. you thank you so that's pretty much the video, and yeah, good it's job, so guys. cool to watch these people work, because you can right. almost hear the passion in their voices. I'm even more excited about this game now, and, and you know what's unfortunate <laughs> yeah, about this? Fuck. You can tell that they work so hard in this game, but unfortunately, I think people are going to trash this game. Probably. You know, <laughs> and, and it's sad, because it, it's such a beautiful game. I'm going to be getting it, like I said, we're going to be looking at it in a virtual production standpoint you know, making movies, because the lighting, the mood of this game is something that I really, really want to get into eventually. Hey, man, that's what you said, Tic Tac. That, uh, with the movies and the lighting and the volume and shit? That's cool. Like, he, this guy wants to get into it. I love this guy. He does a lot of Unreal videos. Amazing. And again, Unreal Engine 4.27, I know they showed some Unreal Engine 5 reference photos in there, but as far as I know, majority of this game was made with a hybrid Unreal Engine 4.27 engine. But yeah, that's oh. pretty much it. What do you all think about Callisto Protocol? It's going to come out next week. And again, I love how his picture is right over his head. Yeah, that's uh, JS Films. Follow that guy, man. That guy's a good dude. He does a lot of Unreal Engine 5. Point, uh, was it 5.1? Are we at 5.2 now? Fuck, I can't remember. With the the Lumen and the Nanites and shit, man. Those are some good videos you gotta check out. Um, this might be loud. Yeah, yeah. What should I play? Tic Tac. I want to check out those requirements, though. Actually, uh, actually, it's right here. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Go to Twitter. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Like, see, uh, oh. so minimum is, uh, Windows 10 or 11, uh, 
um i5 8400 or a ryzen 5 2600 wow that's not bad at all eight gigs of ram nvidia so a 1060 or a 580 rx 580 from amd that's minimum DirectX 11 uh 75 gigs of storage so it's gonna be a pretty big game the recommended specs are same windows 10 11 i7 8700 or a ryzen 5 3600 so yeah you gotta have a pretty decent rig which is around the 16 gigs of uh memory a 1070 or a 5700 i don't know if that's xt or just regular but i'm guessing regular dx12 and then 75 gigs recommended ssd instead of a hard drive what do you think tic tac that's crazy and i wonder what that so recommended so that would be like what 1080 60 fps so that's that's reasonable, right? Like, you don't meet the recommendations because of your GPU. Do you meet it with the CPU or like the min? Oh, recommended. Um, so, what are you running a 1060 or? Oh, you meet the you meet the minimum specs for sure, man. Like the fi the 580 will probably <laughs> still be fine, man. Like, hundred percent. It'll be hard. It'll be uh. I guess we could you could try it out, right? That's download it on Steam, pay for it, and then return it after was it two hours, three hours they give you for free? Fifty six hundred. They made a fifty six hundred X, like a fifty six hundred X, right? Or is it? I get confused on the those tier. Like they have the fifty seven hundred G that has a built in. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 5600x yeah that's a good cpu man that's a six core 12 thread it's a good cpu yeah i mean this will be fun maybe uh maybe i'll check it out here pretty sure it's uh yeah it's awesome man it's held its own for so long man i love it Especially that 580, man. Even like the, like the 1080s even held for so long, man. The TIs, but people had those since like what 2017, man. December second, yes, it's tomorrow. Yeah, I'm still kind of tweaking on that Asmund Gold video, man. Like, <laughs> is he even like a? Is he even a uh, alive man? I'm kind of worried for the guy. I don't know. What should I play? Uh, BRB. Okay, I'll pop something on and on. You'll see it when you get back. I have this like weird audio in my headphones right now. It's probably due to the uh. I don't know, can you guys hear that? Maybe I'm just tweaking. It's like a buzzing sound. Ah, fucking Call of Duty update, man! I swear to God. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, unplug that and check it out and see if it can get rid of it. Okay, it's gonna be loud, guys. Here, in a sec. You still in here, Brett? I'm 
almost Halo-y. You're back. Welcome back, Tic Tac. Holy fuck, that took forever. Not you, I meant the game. <laughs> Get a solo run in. Okay, I'm just gonna go unplug my audio just two seconds, okay? The game, everything will still be working. Audio feedback or anything, tic tac? Like any buzzing sound on my end or anything? Like when I speak or anything? <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. Proximity chat's the best. I wish it was more, uh, <clears throat> like Tarkov. Yeah, I wish you. He... Well, or. I mean, I wish it was just more, like, uh, directional, right? So you could be like, oh, he's up behind me or up on the second floor in the corner kind of thing, right? That would be epic. Okay, thanks, Tic Tac. I appreciate it. Yeah, I was just a little worried because there's a little buzz in my headphone. But it could have just been from that YouTube video. Did you uh, check out any of my YouTube videos on uh, benchmarking and whatnot? I suck at this game, man. You're going to the war zone. Use the time to practice. We will be deploying soon. Hot dog, where are we going? Oh. Might as well join the fun. <clears throat> there were these guys that were doing a drag race in Warzone and me and Winter shot them and they said that they would be ashamed of ourselves. Ha ha ha. Oh. Heard getting shot at. Oh, I suck ass. <laughs> Warm up is over. Stand by for deployment to the war zone. Fuck these guns. Oh, you died? Like you like you guys actually died? They turned around and killed you guys or <laughs> that's hilarious, man. Bro, I'm coming after you, me. Wait, what? Yeah, please do. Laugh my ass off. <coughs> Good luck, have fun. I hear ya. This part of the game is so loud, man. Where am I gonna land? I'm gonna go here again. I usually like this spot up here. Yeah, we died laughing. Yeah, dude. <coughs> maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll get Winter on here and He'll pop on unless he just says weekends now. <laughs> Is that like screen tearing or something? Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's gonna be anybody over here.
Ooh, I like this gun already. Now I'll take the Molotov. Smoke? Sure. I'm so new to this, man. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, a grenade launcher? Do I want to be that guy? Hmm. Molotov, frag. I wish you could lean in this game, actually. Yeah, yeah, I played Warzone 1. But it's been so long, I haven't, uh... Been well over a year. UAV in the area. <laughs> what the fuck was that? The door slams in my face, dude. That's realistic as fuck. Kick the door open and then it just fucking. That's hilarious here. I wonder if it'll work here. Or if I wonder if I should uh put it in the right here like on a loot. Ooh. Requesting recon flyover. Copy that. UAV is on station. Enemy UAV active. Although I don't even need this ammo. That's the, uh... There we go. Is that gonna help? Put another vest in, bro. Ooh. Money, 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 money. Okay. That's the plan of attack here. Uh <clears throat> yeah, I played for a year since its release and streamed it. Yeah, me too. And one night I got so mad because of the cheaters, I just alt F4 and shit to <laughs> shift to lead and <laughs> yeah, dude. That's exactly why I quit. <laughs> That's actually, I forgot about that. Um, fuck. I used to play so much with my buddies, man, and then, yeah, it just got, it just turned to shit, so. And Activision doesn't seem to care about cheaters, apparently. So where am I going to go? Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't really played this too much, so. I think I'll just stay in zone here for a sec, and then, uh. <clears throat> you want to see the FPS there, Tic Tac? Want to see what, uh... Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm on Ultra. So this is, uh, uh, 1440p Ultra settings. Everything maxed out. Guess how much FPS I'm getting. Let's take a guess. Uh, V-Sync's off, so it'll be unlimited. Oh. I hear people 165 uh, so unlimited so ultra uh, 1440p okay, let's see yeah yeah around there yeah 170 
Uh, yeah, fucking very accurate Tic Tac. Hot damn, man. Turn that off. Distracting. Yeah, you were very close, man. I was, I didn't even know. Actually, maybe that was extreme settings. I don't know. It was like the highest settings. I think it's extreme. And then I tweaked something. Like I turned, uh, Here's someone. Hostile UIV in the area. Yeah, I knew your little weasel ass around here, man. The shitty thing is he knows I'm here if he's around. goes down on these heartbeats, eh? Do I need another plate? Enemy UAV overhead. <laughs> Actually, I'll switch up for this. Can I switch it out for that? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Yeah, if you zoom in, you can peek the door. I forgot to turn off game chat. I hate that. Yeah, if you zoom in like that, you peek the door. It doesn't open as loud. Not that my running doesn't help. I guess I gotta get the fucking game chat, man. I'm not too far off. I'm gonna get tapped, dude. <clears throat> Just running out in the open like this. Uh, it's not the cheaters. There's some streamers like Huskers. I spent like three hours watching his stream and you know when you get a gun from the ground that has no attachments and the recoil goes through the roof so you have to pull back on your mouse um in order to keep it level that dude was moving his mouse only to turn around um i confronted him in his chat and the dude banned me from his chat what do you mean he you think he was cheating Look at this guy, like, oh, he saw me the whole time. Oh, I'm in the gulag. He was using a script that removed. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm in the map. He was using a script that removes recoil from any weapon. Wait, what? How the fuck do you, what? Yeah, that's fucked actually, man. Like, I gotta turn down this fucking audio, man. <laughs> um, and the Warzone community in Reddit seems to protect its streamers. Yeah, I was, uh, 
I always wondered there was a few guys that were um I was always kind of sketched about like some of the guys use a controller too right so the the aim locks on easier right that's what I've noticed I don't know man like if, if people are using uh, scripts and shit man fuck those guys cause that's bullshit man Bullshit, bro. Like, I don't, I don't even know how, uh, how they can get away with that. I want to turn off text chat. How the fuck do I do that? Notifications? No. Social? No. You would think it'd be right in here. Maybe it's in the quick settings. Oh, text chat. There we go. Off. Done. Um, <clears throat> right now the guy is streaming Warzone 2. I don't even want to check it out. There are 2,300 people watching him right now. And you for sure think he's like... Yeah, maybe all, they all do like... Like, maybe Tim is too. I don't know, man. I'm not going to call anybody. I don't really, like... I don't really know, though. Like, I don't know scripts that well and shit. I just play games, man. But if you know scripts, I trust you. Because I don't know any of that shit, man. Here, I'm going to... Get the fuck out of there, that's for sure. I have Warzone and me don't get along. Yeah, I can hear the buzzing in my ear. That's cool. As long as you don't hear it. You want me to check him out? Uh, their Tic Tac? Let me check out Huskers. Stone Mountain 64 and many others are not using scripts. They're just good. Yeah, what the fuck? Here, here, let's do this, here. I just want to see. Oh, here, it's going to be loud here, Tick Tick. This guy, is this the guy you're talking about? Okay, let me see a full auto. I'm gonna look at his hand. Alright, we're up uh, a few. Uh, some sort of hydro? Yeah, I have to just do shot burst because I haven't nailed the pull down on the mouse at all with the recoil. Yeah, see, I'm taking the time to drive over to there. Nice showcase car. <laughs> He's got like a white light, light on his forehead. You see that shit? That's him. He hit his mouse. Whoa. Yeah, that sucks. Can't really, you can kind of see his arm, but like. Wait, how does he know there's someone there? Oh, the laser? Did he see it? Of that wall, my thing. 
I didn't see his hand there. I want to see him when he shoots. You might be pushing me, actually. No, no, no. This guy, this guy's right here. That's who you're talking about. One E, one E. That guy's one E along the wall, right there. Broken, blue plate. Yeah, yeah. He's on this band here. I saw it on the one. I didn't look at the second one though. When he had that big fight, I was gonna. Oh. Type it on the roof on my ping too. I'll cluster it. Okay. Cluster. This guy across over. Wait, how did he fucking see that guy? Okay, I gotta look at his hand, man. I keep getting distracted by gameplay. As soon as he starts seeing it, shooting at someone, I'm gonna watch his hands. I can't see it. Getting your full. Dude, they pre oh my god, they see me. I'll try to call away. Or maybe you could, like, hug this wall. Low KD servers? What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, whatever. At least you were trying to revive your teammate, man. That's a good teammate. I mean, they knew they had somebody knocked. Yeah, but still, fuck. Yeah, he looks kind of sketchy, man. Like, is he on pills or something? No idea. Like, he's on some, too. Like, a lot of them I heard take, like, Ritalin and shit. Uh, that's For focus. Uh, that's um, Matchmaking, every Battle Roy Royale game has it. What do you, but how do you select that though? That's like, how do you, you like VPN yourself to like, I, I don't know. Is that a fucking extra armor play there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's kind of odd, actually. Because I don't even move my hand at all. My gun's just like... <laughs> fucking all over the place, man. It's to match your skills and not be overpowered by guys that are st sleeping on this game. Yeah, I know they got, like, uh, some sort of SBMM skill-based matchmaking, but, like, how do you... How do they bypass that, though, right? Whoa. Oh, that guy's a fucking... What the fuck, man? Ah. Oh. Jesus, bro. Of course, there's a full team here with loadies, man. A gold gun. Are we playing on EU? Um, the the tourney. Are we playing on EU. The tourney is hosted by an EU company. Um, and part of the agreement of them inviting me was that they're like, we're gonna let the EU people host since it's like a tourney meant for EU people. So I was like. I was like, alright, that's fine. Yeah, okay, I just noticed his uh, ping was so... Ping was so high for Call of Duty. Okay, so if you're a partner and you advertise the game, Activision provide you with a low KD ratio of lobbies. It's... Ma Wait, what? No. No. So what, you gotta like sign a non-disclosure agreement? Whoa. I didn't even hear like you sign an NDA? Decision in or anything. Not like I could have even guessed that they pushed it. So they have lobbies that they, they basically take your name with your like, say you got a 5.0 KD and you put you in lobbies with people that are like 0.5 KD. 
like just trash like me is that sun dog hitting my eye while playing no it's it's that's, <laughs> Whoa, that's fucked up man that's a oh it's only on my face for like one hour that was a parachute okay. glitch and then they then he uses a recoil script you uh, say it'll, it'll literally be gone in like 30 minutes and it doesn't even wow me. i can't even notice it yeah that's fucked yeah, cause you you did you see me playing and how shit my gun was going up and I should learn to pull back on my mouse though. So. I mean, really, but I don't play enough. I'm not that sweaty at Warzone. Just, like so, I usually get like, like okay lobbies, right? Not with these. Like, well, I guess I would get to play against this kind of guy. That's why like Tim and shit get like 25 kills around and they're not the greatest, right? That's fucked, man. Yeah, AK or the RPK is definitely Imagine being in a low KD lobby and using a script. Yeah, like, yeah, you would have so many kills. The game would probably be so much fun, but you're a fucking loser. <laughs> right? Like, why would you even... That That's the line you don't cross, man. Like, I would, I'd rather have one viewer, like you, Tic Tac, or whoever's in here. I'd rather have that than have his 2300 and know that I'm a phony if he's, you know... If he's like using a script and shit, man. The game's no fun now. You don't even like. I am vision. <laughs> like imagine mastering the game without cheating. Like you said, what was the guy's name that was not cheating? Um, I'm just gonna scroll up here. Yeah, Stone Mountain sixty four. Right, like the actual, like imagine being that good of the game and then not cheating, right? That's where it's fun. I'd rather have that though. What's this guy doing? What the fuck? It's like spinning around, bro. You just watched four people shoot a junior and they barely could touch him. Yeah. Nice job. Like, what the fuck is this guy like? Is he? Like, people are this crazy about this game, man. Like, look at that. He's like, Ch -ch -ch -ch. dude. They already won. Okay. I'm sure it'll pull in a sec. Oh, whoa. How do people know where these people are? Man, there's so many. And then I'm, and then I guess on the other end of the thing, TikTok, eh? It's like the pathetic thing is, uh, this, the amount of, oh. Like, look at this shit, man. There's people ever trying to get him. Like, imagine being a cheater, like, with, like, aimbot or... And, like, all the cheaters in the game, and then you have to cheat too, right? Like, that's the other shitty thing, right? I'm surprised they're not popping I wouldn't. Up today. There's a guy to the left. Going crazy. Fucking right there. I don't know. I don't know. So, Activision... <clears throat> So Activision takes your ID, pops you into special lobbies every time you log in, man. Yeah, they just really kept going. Hey, what's up, Dave? I think they would have just killed you. This is fucked up, man. I don't want to watch him anymore. I bet you don't want to watch him anymore, too. This is the greatest comeback story in the making. <laughs> Stone Mountain 64. Um, I'm going to restart my game. My game's like... My game was like slapping. Yeah, because you had to do a fucking update, bro. In case. Like, so you tell me like all these guys do, like Symphony, Aiden, TP... Like all those guys do that? Backs against the wall. Losers. Where's this Stone Mountain 64? Is that the uh His name is his name's not here. It's uh that's weird. That's so weird. I'm gonna try this game. Have you ever played this game? The uh Oh uh, 
yeah, but you have to advertise and do the shit. He's doing like spinning and quick switches. So you're attractive and people are gonna think you're a pro. That's fucked, man. <clears throat> you ever played this game before? Oh, this is, uh, I was playing this last night and there was like a rat glitch, uh, where I couldn't fucking get the rats to follow, like, suit, so maybe I'll have to, but I have to do the whole level all over again because I think it was a glitch. This is, uh, a Plague Tale Innocence. But you know what the sad thing is, Tic Tac, is that people like, why don't they just be themselves, right? Like, why can't they just game? Like, I know, like, a lot of people don't watch, well, some do, but I don't know. I don't watch streamers because they go like this. Right? Click, 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 click. Right? I don't know. Like, I, I get, I get that it's fun and shit, and you're like, holy shit, this guy's good, but like, <laughs> there's not that many people that are that good, man. Your ordeal is nothing. Oh shit. I'm gonna get seen. Oh, that was close, bro. You know, the funniest thing is like, how do you not see somebody behind this stack of wheat or whatever it is? <laughs> Come back, soldier. Like, how do you not see that kid, man? Like, this game's so funny. I've already played this part, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Oh, it's so big. Where's mommy? I gotta get up to the top there, eh? Material of materials. Gold unique. By breaking you, this is the first Plague Tale. They just released a new one out for it. And I finished that one first, and I didn't know there was a uh, part one. So here I am playing part one because I love uh, part two so, so much. Uh, he has a helmet on. I bet you can't see what he's doing. Yeah, right? <laughs> a little, like, slit. Yeah, but, like, these guys don't have masks on. Or sh uh, helmets on. These weird little, like... Oh, like, that guy doesn't. Medicus, how has today's refining gone? The quality is excellent, but the mass of variety's language is decreasing. Our harvesters are being decimated by the rats. Do your best. The life of the Grand Inquisitor depends on the quality of the distillate. Oh fuck. I don't know if I got to play as Hugo in part two, I can't remember. I'm just gonna go fuck it. The body of the Grand Inquisitor is a Oh fuck! I'm going back. See, like, how's he not see me? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing again. But we should remain careful. <laughs> what the fuck? I gotta be careful about hitting those glasses, apparently, man. That was a fucking close call. <laughs> right? Like, he's just like, huh? Someone's over here. Yeah, I don't want to follow him, though, bro. Hey, down there. The distillate is thickening. It will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks. This guy's dumping wool. Bro, I'm gonna go pop into the arm server and later we gonna jump on Warzone. Nice, man. Well, have fun, Tic Tac. Uh, thanks, man. I appreciate you popping in and saying hello. It's been a while, man. Much love. From Canada, my friend. Take care, eh? Here's my chance to go by this guy.
Take care, man. Yeah, cheers, eh? the objective i hope so because that's all we'll be able to produce that was it was it oh i got caught how the fuck did he see me <laughs> oh what the distillate is thickening it will soon be necessary to change the filters and scrape the tanks I gotta get by here, man. Twenty pounds. We have almost reached the objective. I hope so. Because that's all we'll be able to produce. It is already a miracle that Vitali's body is afraid. Not afraid. I'm afraid. You on the list? Yeah. I'll be on the square in front of the cathedral. Oh, so you'll be right next to the Grand Inquisitor when he frees us. And I'll be in charge here. We'll all meet again afterwards. The end of the bite. It's going to be quite a party. The end of the bite. Come on, be brave. This is so fucking sketchy, man. <laughs> so at the end of the bite is going to be quite some party. So I got to bolt across the room here. Inquisitor is very busy. Busy? I My fucking heart's pounding, man. I represent the Pope. Monsignor, the mission of the Grand Inquisitor is sacred. His mission was never approved by the Church. I see here only heresy and occultism. And you, you all follow him on this infernal road. Azure, your <laughs> wow. That's good as shit out of me, man. <laughs> of a child during the great plague of Justinian. I knew it. The Roman nobles isolated him from the people and worshipped him in secret. Maybe an ancestor of Hugo de Rune. Continue. They're talking about me. I was gonna chill here for a sec till that dude comes back. Man. This game's fucking tense too, man. Like, I love how games are like this and like jump scares, man. My favorite part of games. Like, how does he not see me? He's totally gonna see me.
Have you, uh, are you still in here, Brett? Like in the chat? Where do I fuck? I bring the country from the bite. The Grand Inquisitor will gain the adoration of the people, and with it, unprecedented political power. Archbishop Gautier's presence here says a lot. The Pope's court is worried, and so they should be. Serves them right for not intervening early. The Prima Macula, on the cusp of the first threshold, devours the lost carrier, or walks beside the one who tames it, master or slave. Order or chaos. But how can we be sure? This dude's tripping me up. Yep, I'm lurking, man. It's all good, man. How you been? I bought this game for like five bucks on uh, Steam sale. Beatrice de Rune's research texts are all coded. I give up. I have some good news. They finally moved her to the basement. So she's going to crack. About time. Oh, yeah, this is uh, the mummy. He's right here. Pretty good. Just trying to figure out my ski pass. What do you like the? Oh yeah, you get a ski pass, don't you? Or is it for like uh? Hopefully they give you a good discount, man. That'd be, uh, I'm good, man. I'm just chilling today, playing some games, you know, trying to beat this game, but there was a glitch side so to restart the whole fucking level. Trying to get it free through my girl because she works. Yeah. yeah. But they want proof of common law. How the fuck do you prove that? Just having isn't it like three months living together is common law now? She's in the basement, they said. I have to keep going down. You know, it's weird because it's not like you're lying. <laughs> right? That's so weird that they need have like haven't they seen you around and shit, man? Like Cutscene. Grand Inquisitor. <clears throat> the Archb Literally, it's pretty frustrating, but we have no proof, right? Like, fuck. You know what they should do is they should just walk into your place where you guys live and be like, my shit or shit. Um, maybe like a rental agreement. I don't know, or I don't know. I don't know what you could do, man. Has arrived. Perfect. That's fucking bullshit. No, they have like someone that could vouch for you. That works there too, right? Like, like you guys have been together for like what? How many years have you guys been together? Eight years? Italis. Monseigneur Gautier, I trust your journey. <laughs> Having photoshopped, yeah. Spare me your nicety. It sucks. We it sucks that you gotta like, f <laughs> yeah, six years, right? It sucks that you gotta be, you have to photoshop something. Like, you have to fake something to prove something. You know, like, that's fucked, man. Like, you're photoshopping your phone bill. To have it fake, it's so it's it's not real. To prove that you've been together, which is real. Yeah, right? That's so fucked up. That's so fucked up, man. Sorry. Sorry I'm laughing, but the world is so fucked that way. Can a game change the future? I'm gonna skip that cutscene, that guy. scary. I have to follow him. <laughs> Why does she keep resisting like that? I gotta follow this dude we to get to mom. Get to mom. We both fight the plague. Only our methods differ. The daughter is making the same error. What do you think, Brad? Uh, the world has been blowing my mind the last couple. Huh? Oh. Over there. What's that? They saw me shit, I guess. No. Adiz. Adignan. He's gonna see me anyway. Yeah, so the world's been blowing my mind for like two and a half fucking years, man. 
and in the last month, then it's even more like there's a lot more fucked up people nowadays, man. I swear to God. But you know what, man? I'm sending you positive vibes, dude. Everything will work out, man. It always does. Stay positive. 100% stay positive. That's all you can do. That's what I've had to do, man. Through so much shit, man, in my life. And especially those last couple of years, dude. So, sending good vibes your way, man. Oh, I forgot this guy's trying to stalk me. Yes. Nothing to report. Like, he looked right at me right there. Look. The conjuration will take and then these guys like the could definitely see. Look, there's like a little kid chilling over here. Here, I'll even stand in view. What was that? I spoke too soon. Hmm. Ate right. my own words. Okay. So I guess if you go in full view, they can see you. Hell yeah! All you can do, yeah, man. It's a fucked up world we live in, man. It's just I'm. Which way did he go? God, this guy. I didn't see this guy. Well, Nicholas, congratulations on capturing the child. We've been after him for weeks. And then he simply turns up here asking to see his mother. Huh. <laughs> he has a sense of humor that he won't be keeping for long. I have to go and see him. These guys are gonna kill a kid, man. Fuck you guys. You guys are fucked up, man. Yeah, turn away, bro. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, oh, wait. I'm gonna read that in a second. I just gotta get through the sketchy part, Brett. Almost got busted there. A uh, guy backed into my car. What? The other week and left his info. I couldn't believe it. Wow, man. Really? They're still good. Yeah. Wow. I'm actually blown away, especially some. No way. That's good, man. See, like, shit happens. He probably hung out for a bit, you know, being like, hey, like, it's probably like fucking minus 20 out there. He's like, you know, I can't wait too long. And I don't blame him, man. Like, you leave your info. No, like, there's no harm in that, right? Like, you, as long as you're up. Oh, that's straight. Oh, no. Oh, shit. That's crazy, man. Good for, uh... As I was telling not many honest people left in this, this world, bro. God was devoured, but not completely. His Ew. bones were cut up and taken away by the rats. For what purpose? To incorporate them into that material, we find... So they take your bones and build their nests out of it? They use our dead to build their nests. Yeah, that guy is a good guy, man. I mean... And Good karma though, man. Like, people are people fuck up, right? Like, people we all fuck up. People gotta remember that. Like, we all make mistakes, man. That's how you act to them, though. That's a gross-looking rat, dude. These ones got glowing eyes. Look at this guy. The poison rats. Hey, kid. Good. Shut up. Shut Help up. Me. No. Help me. Shut up. Hey, no. Die quietly. We're trying to work here. I'd rather you Dude, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Damn you. That guy fucking Hello, almost ruined it. You, you and your fucking rat. Save you this rest. Your death <gasps> is not an end. For your blood shall nourish a new Dude, there's race rats under them. They shall be your children, your pride. It's horrible. They're feeding the rats blood through their cut wrists? What the actual fuck, man? 
<laughs> That's fucked up. Then again, this is like 1300s, isn't it? If she sees her son with a knife to his throat, she'll cooperate. Bro. I saw Lord Nicholas go past. That Darun woman is gonna suffer, I'd say. Uh, serves her right. Uh, such an educated woman. She should have joined our side. Oh, she's way too slick. But no match for our fortune. He must be near here. Yeah, so he came through here. Uh, oh. Please. At least let me die out there. You wouldn't like it out there, believe me. At least here your carcass. How's the uh, quality of the stream, Brett? Good? Good? Sink yourself. I had to do a whole bunch of tweaking again. Hey, kid. Shut up. What the hell are you doing here? Shh. I have to find my mommy. The alchemist. Oh, what? You sure? For the last time, will you answer my questions? Yeah, really good. Maybe change. Yeah, I guess. Eh? What should I put it as, though? To your husband. Right. Our torturer will take care of you. You'll soon have your voice back. Mark my words. Oh, she's gone. Oh, no, he's coming back. Change it to uh, Plague Tale Innocence, though. Sure, there we go. Now it's updated. Yeah, it does have a. Every game's got its own category if it's not a bait or uh, a mod uh, or anything. Mommy, Hugo. But, but. But so they. Amicia said you were dead, but you're not. Amicia. I hear Willie. My darling. You must go, if they find you here. No, I'm staying with you. Oh, Hugo. Did they take your blood? Aw. Oh my god. That right. would suck, man. Hugo, we'll go together. But you have to find the keys. They must keep them in the room at the end of the corridor. Okay. Can you make it there? Hey buddy? Oh, no, oh, are you okay? Off you go then. You wanna say hi? Go. Oh. You say hi? Oh. Be very careful. Come back as soon as you have the keys. Can you say hi, Brett? Yeah, just lay right on me, bro. Yeah, you could just chill out. I want everything prepared and ready to begin. Do you understand? Yes, Lord Nicholas. All right, you heard him. Everything will be ready. The alchemist will talk. I'm going to enjoy just oh, really. a job. The captain of yeah, the he's been <laughs> improvisation, and neither do I. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. I have to meet the lady. He's been sick for like a month, man. Authority it's from like. I told you right, to be efficient. No point to show much. Really it's been from like the kids not I fucking getting sick for two years, man. And right, and then all these viruses and flus and shit are all just hitting them cold. Our immune systems have been like hmm. not really used, right? So he's just getting hit with everything, man. Right, right, Willie. I love you. The rats. They're all afraid of rats. I can just free them. Yes. Dude, I gotta unleash the rats? Oh, that's for the cages. Oh, I gotta... 
I gotta take this cage down, I'm guessing, eh? Oh, I gotta... I gotta do my part. Right now I can oh now I can run around like a You got him on that elevator? Dude uh Yeah okay so he doesn't like Tylenol. Like he pukes it up, he gets Tylenol and he pukes. So like a little bit stays down enough to drop his like fever down when he gets sick. But my wife just said that elderberry, vitamin C and zinc, like is that like a pill? Do I get them on like, like vitamins or like what, ca how can I get that into his system without it being like a tea? Cause he probably won't drink all that. Or do I got to go to like some sort of a, uh, do I got to go to some sort of like health food store kind of thing? Like nature's fair kind of shit, right? Elderberry you can get in gummy form and that's like, uh, I can get that in like a, what do you call it? Oh my God. A vitamin from like Walmart or something or? Lanterns. They don't like lanterns. So I got to manipulate this light to get the rats out of this. Dude, these rats. Rats creep me the fuck out, man. You want to smuggle daddy? Yeah, I know. Problem, I love video games. Problem solving 101, bro. Oh, wait, I gotta get this fucking key, though. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, natural food stores, Walmart might have. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go get them some. And is it just like, do you have to have all three? Like, because my wife said that elderberry is really good just by itself. I don't know. I'm not, she's all a natural kind of thing, right? I'm not really. I just get like a really bad headache every six months or a year. And I take a Tylenol or an Advil. That's my extent of taking pills, right? Mommy's free, bro. It's all right. Sure will hurt you now. My hero. Who's that? Is that his mommy? Your head. Yeah. It, it talks to me. Do you miss your mommy? All the time now. And what does it say? It says it wants me to join it. The first threshold. Mommy, I'm scared. Sorry, buddy. Elderberry is supposed to have vitamins and antioxidants, yeah. And that boosts immune systems and reduce cold flu symptoms. Oh, and choice. vitamin C too. So like, there's got to be some sort of... I'll Google it and see if there's any sort of like reply? kids version of all three in one or... I can't really see though, Willie. Yes. Hugo can control rats. Hold control to aim, then hold left mouse to call the rats to designate. Oh. Everything is all right. Now, you're going to tell them to move so we can get out. Well done. You see? My headache's gone. It was the macula, but you answered it. Let's 
the rats on that guy man I'm just kidding up down you watching yourself on the computer All right Is that Daisy that stinks Okay, so I'm controlling rats and moving them around. That's pretty sweet. Oh, these roads are in a terrible state. How are we going to deliver this? All we need now is to lose one of these cages. Be careful. This is creepy, man. She's still alright, Hugo. Feels a bit funny. It will make you tired. That's all. Tell me if you feel poor. Yes. Cool. Why do I know how to do this? It's... Uh, it's the blood that decides. It's complicated to explain. But... That was intense, Brad. No. I'll explain later. Say hi, We have an argument, Mommy. It's all right, my darling. Let's get out of here, huh? And here's the scene I, that I can't... What? You okay? Poked your eye? Yeah. Oh, want to Kleenex? So, Beatrice. This is the cutscene I can never fucking be. The rats! Stay the away from your way. mother, boy! Don't! Hurt! Ah! Yeah, see, they all come, though. Did I get it? I'm sorry, Shuko. Attack! Kill her! What do I do? I have the honor Return. of killing Stop the curious it. mother. Just a child! <laughs> It's so messed up like that. God, you are the beginning of the conjuration. The future depends on you.
Like how are these rats not listening to me? Yeah, I must have fucked up. Yeah, right. Willie's 60 pounds, yeah, ready for some zip lines. Hey, you're getting there. He lost a He lost a quite a bit of weight from being sick there. Like he's still kinda coming back. But he lost a lot of weight, so I've been like I've been feeding him like sugar, hit <laughs> chocolate, just fatten the little bugger up. See? What the fudgesicle? Stupid game. You want me to go upstairs? You want to hang out? Okay. Uh, you might struggle to get better with sugar though. No, I know. I meant like uh, fatty foods like potatoes and like... Like carbs. I think it does have too much ice cream too. Alright. Been getting them a lot of potatoes. Hey. Messing with my mic, bro. When I was a kid, I couldn't gain weight. It's tough, yeah. Well, like his like legs, his legs are like twigs. So, here, I'm gonna say goodbye. So you wanna go upstairs? I'll be right up. Okay, wanna go up? Oh, oh I got I need to talk though. Okay, so can you just leave that alone for a sec? Yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna talk. So. Um, do the usual, uh, the usual, say goodbye, say thanks for watching, All right? Is that Daisy that stinks? Daisy's been eating cat poop, <laughs> All right? Um, hey, let's put this one on. This is always a good one. What's this? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last stream on Twitch. I'll be on YouTube though, man. So if you uh go to the YouTube, you know my channel, right? So I'll be on there live. So I don't know. I just Twitch is kind of messed up. So you hear that? But uh. Yeah, dude. I know. You never know. I might come back. We'll see how it goes. I've just been doing a lot of like benchmarking and changing direction of streaming. So I don't know. Getting old too, right? So, anyways, can you say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. There we go. Thanks, Brett. Love you, and I hope all goes well with all the crap that's going down. If there's anything I can do, even like a phone call or anything, I don't know if it would help or anything, but uh, let me know and. Uh, yeah, dude. Best of luck with everything and love ya. Catch you guys later. Peace out, everybody. Oh, wait, I'll do the one thing. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Peace out, everybody. It's out of my head. Peace.
Now I'm gone for good. Peace out, everybody. Have a good one. Say bye. 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 Bye.